What's up guys, Drek here with another historical overview from the game Need for Speed 2. Today we're going to be looking at the Alfa Romeo GTA. The Alfa Romeo GTA is a coupe automobile manufactured by the Italian manufacturer Alfa Romeo in, from 1965 to 1971. It was made for racing and road use. In 1962, the successor for the very popular Giulietta series was introduced. The car was the Alfa Romeo Giulia, internally called the Series 105. The coupe of the Series 105 used a shortened floor pan from the Giulietta Berliner and was designed by Bertone. The name of the car evolved from the Giulia Sprint GT to Giulia Sprint and the GTJ for Junior and the GTV Veloz in the late 1960s. At the time, Alfa Romeo was very active in motorsport. Auto Delta, the race division of Alfa, developed a car for competition that closely resembled the road going model. These cars were named GTA instead of GT. The A stands for Allegredita, Italian for lightweight. The GTA was produced first in 1965 as a 1600 and later as a 1300 junior version. The, the GTA automobiles were also manufactured in either street, stardale or pure race, Corsa trim. The GTA had aluminium outer body panels instead of steel. The inner steel panels were also thinner gauge and inner and outer panels were bonded and pop riveted together. Magnesium alloy wheels, clear plastic um, windows, an aluminium rear upper control arm, different door handles and a quarter window mechanism. The lightweight interior trim, the engine had an 8 spark plug, twin spark um, plug, Cylinder head was a spark fed by the Marelli distributor and the Ferrari Dino 45mm carburetor instead of the 40mm and magnesium camshaft cover. Some pin timing covers, the transmission gear ratios were closer than the standard and the gears were machined for lighter and quieter and quicker shifting. Draw weight of the 1600 was approximately 1640 pounds, 740 kilograms. In Stardare, um, form. This car was boosted approximately 115 PS, 85 kilowatts or 113 horsepower, up from 160, 106 or 78 kilowatts, 105 HP. In full race, this engine could produce up to 170 PS, 130 kilowatts or 170 horsepower. The 160 G and the 1600 GTA did not have a brake booster and had a thicker radiator than the standard vehicle for homologation. 500 of these vehicles were actually made for road use. Racing successes. Both types of GTA, the GTA 1300 and the 1600 Juniors, and the GTA M were very successful, and these cars were driven in numerous victories. In the opening season at Monza, they won the first seven places. Andrea de Adamaki claimed the title in 1966. In USA, the GTA's first racing victory was in January 1966 at the Refrigerator Bowl at the now defunct Marlboro Raceway in Maryland. The monthly Winkler and the Piet van der Watt at the wheel, um, the Auto Delta GTA of Horst Quetsch and Gaston Andrew won the, the under 2 liter class for the inaugural Sports Car Club of America Trans Am Championship in 1966. Horst Quetsch also won the first SCCA National B Sedan ARRC Championship in the same GTA in 1966. Later on, the 1750 GTA M and the 2000 GTA M cars were driven to victory by Toyn Geisermans, who won the 24 hour of the Franco Champs in this car. These cars won hundreds of races before competition grew stronger in 1971 but the Giulia sometimes kept up with a much bigger engines cars such as the 3 liter BMW CSL. To sum up the data and the engine specs and the performance specs, the Giulietta Sprint GTA standard was a 1600cc motor, 78mm bore and a 82 stroke. It produced 85 kilowatts at, at 6000 rpm at a compression ratio of 9.7. The GTA Sprint racing version was also a 1570cc motor which was a 78 by 82 bore stroke but produced 121 kilowatts at 7800 rpm. It had a compression ratio of 10.5 to 1. Later, you got the Giulietta GTA 13 Junior, which was only a 1290cc. It had a bore stroke of 78 by 67. 
it had produced 71 kilowatts at 6000 rpm and a 9.7 compression ratio uh, once again the biggest one and the fastest one out of the whole series was a GTAM, which was a 1985cc 1.2 litre um, bore stroke was 84 by 88 it had um, 177 kilowatts at 7500 rpm with a whooping compression ratio of 11 to 1 Right, guys, that's about all the information I could come up on this wonderful little thoroughbred Italian little sports car, the Giulietta Sprint. Um, well, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, next one coming up soon. This was Drac. Hope you enjoyed. Over and out.